I want to say for the record, I'm actually not a computer scientist, but I do know how to change the toner. <laughs> uh, hello everyone, uh, I want to show you really quickly some things we're thinking about on the InSign team side. As you know, it's actually been about a year since we launched Digital Publishing Suite. Um, so we've had fantastic uh, uh, attraction in terms of getting uh, great looking content on the tablet devices. So I have an iPad over here and as you see I can turn it over here and kind of tilt it let the accelerometer do its trick. We're actually seeing two different layouts here, two different layouts, which actually equates to two different files. Um, so one of the things that we're seeing right now... Can get the monitor on the RoboCam guys oh. backstage? Could we get the RoboCam up? Oh, uh, slightly to the side. Give Mouse say you're blocking the camera, dude. Yeah, let's do the camera. There you go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Thank you. Even from the audience, Ben Ford is giving me directions. <laughs> <laughs> so there's actually two different layouts associated with this. So designers actually have to create two separate enzyme files for this one device. Um, another thing that's happening, though, is you've got another device like the Motorola Zoom. And on yeah. the Zoom, you've got a totally different size, shape, aspect ratio. And the best we can do right now is, if you notice the black bands here, this is all white space, so it sort of scaled down the layout to fit on this size screen. Drives designers crazy. Are there any designers in the audience by any chance? Any in this audience? You know, so, you know, designers, God abhors white space. And this just drives us insane. But it's the best that we can do right now. So we're thinking about this on the InDesign team side. If we can kind of switch over to the computer, I want to show you some things on here. This is just a sneak peek of some of the things we're thinking about how to solve this problem. So as the number of devices increase, as we get more and more uh, tablets on the market, um, you know, the question we ask is, do we have to actually re redesign and relay out this for every single device and screen and pixel density out there? Um, most designers, when they realize how much effort's involved, they'll say, oh my god, if this is the future, I'm, I'm quitting, I'm stopping right now. So how are we going to make things a little bit easier for the designer? Well, some things we're thinking about here is if I click on this, you'll see something in the user interface. Uh, since we have developers in the room, um, think of this as springs and struts in InDesign. So typically InDesign is a static layout. It can't change. It can't adapt to the different size screens. Um, but what if, once we apply some springs and struts to this, what if we simply now magically change the rotation and adapt the layout to fit that new rotation? Or what if we go and change the aspect ratio to, thank you, a Motorola Zoom size and actually have the content best fit that screen. So we don't have to live with the letter boxing and pillar boxing anymore. Let's move on down a little bit here. What if we could take a page and again, you see two columns of text up here. What if we can actually increase this and magically have three columns of text happen for me automatically? So I've been just showing you a few things around content and layout right now. Um, this is page three, so I've got this static map over here. Hopefully we can do better, so I'm going to throw away this static map. Let me go over. This is Google Maps, as you all know. I'm just going to go in. What if I could actually copy-paste this iframe code over here? Come over. Do a paste. Keep my fingers crossed. Pray to the demo gods. Beach ball, go away. All right, so hold your thought on this. I'm just going to put this here for a second. No, that's not the cool part. You'll see it in a second. <laughs> hang on a second. It's all about building the narrative tension, so hang on. All right, last thing here. So digital magazines, ads. Well, this is great. It looks fantastic, but it's static. It's a photograph, right? So let's throw that away. What if I could go ahead and I have this dynamic ad here kind of all wrapped up in a zip package? Press return. Go ahead, put this in here. Again, keep your fingers crossed. Please, come on, come on. All right, and I've actually placed an edge animation. And what if all of this can be saved, not out to like a static format, but what if we could actually preview this and represent all of the layout, all the content as HTML5, and use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to actually present this, and now within, this is just a preview, so I'm just doing a local desktop preview here, and actually adapt the, the layout. This is not a JPEG. This is actually searchable text. Page two, page three, and that Google map is real. Oh, wow. And likewise, there's your edge animation. Yeah! But wait, this is all great stuff. If I could switch the camera over to the tablet devices, 
So the proof is in the pudding. So let's go through. I'm gonna open up an experimental content viewer here. So this is digital magazine, right? So let's do a view. So this is one single InDesign document. There we go. That was one file. Instead of having two, three, four different InDesign layouts, I only had one layout. That single layout is now on this iPad device. And if I rotate, it adapts to do different orientations. If I page forward, hang on a second, work with me here. And if the network is on, stop Twittering, please stop. <laughs> there's the zoom, and there's the edge animation. And one more, that's great for the iPad, that exact same file on the zoom. Let's go out, let's take a look at this. Get off of that. I'm not connected on this device. That's okay. Please, please, please. There we go. And there it is. Full screen view. And oh, Whoops. upside down. Oh. All right. It's a bug. Ship it. <laughs> So let's move back into the audio video realm. Um, how many people have been to a concert?